Hey guys, today we will be putting together our 2020 time capsule and hopefully we'll be able to give you some tips and tricks on making your very own with your family. I started out by googling time capsules and came across some great information. Today I'm going to be using most of the information I obtained through the internet. I will share a link to the guide that I'm also basing some of this stuff off of. When deciding what type of time capsule you want to make, don't forget to keep these factors in mind. Are you burying or storing away your time capsule? If you bury your time capsule, make sure it's a stainless steel container. It's strongly suggested. I've seen them use PVC piping and stuff like that, but that tends to disintegrate over time a lot more than the stainless steel. And you don't have to really worry about water damage and stuff as much with the stainless steel. If, burying, if you're burying your time capsule, make sure to pick something that doesn't rust over time. So if stowing away, make sure to use glass or plastic, SPI number one or SPI number five. We ourselves have a capsule with SPI number five, which we were able to obtain from a local restaurant. What types of items can I safely use inside my time capsule? Now, that is one of the major questions that you have to remember because certain items can deteriorate faster than others, which then leach into what you already have, which could totally ruin your time capsule on the inside. Decide the size, shape, life expect expectancy, and cost of your time capsule and items. So this could actually be really cheap. Um, we really only spent about $20 on our time capsule because we ordered a kit to help us preserve the stuff inside of it. So now that we have our enclosure figured out, we decided we should store it inside instead of burying it because we, we could only get our hands on a plastic SPI number five jar but you could use glass um, for storing as well I wouldn't recommend using glass to bury to to bury with because you know somebody could be digging and they would smash your whole uh, time capsule and everything inside that you had preserved could become ruined the lid could rust could seep into the items that you kept inside and everything else um, we are going to move on to the contents of our capsule and how to properly store the items you've chosen to share with the people of the future. And like I said before, we had bought a specific preservation kit for our time capsule, which it's not needed. You don't need to do that, especially if you're planning on just storing it away in your house. Um, but it is nice to have if you want to make sure you're properly archiving your items for their best longevity. Just um, just keep in mind that try not to use acidic or wood pulp based paper if possible. Um, we actually had to use some so we have some archival paper and we have some regular run-of-the-mill everyday paper and I guess we're gonna see how that disintegrates over the next 30 years but so the archival based paper is on your left and the normal everyday paper is on your right as you can tell one it has more of like a yellowish hint and that's because it is a alkaline acidic free paper now get a piece of paper and start writing down ideas you may want to put into your time capsule just remember this is just this is only a rough draft of what may or may not make it into your time capsule. Once you have a list of ideas, start to do some research on those items to make sure they won't affect your other items. To make sure that they have a decent longevity to them. For example, we wanted to put a whole set of 2020 coins into our time capsule, but copper isn't a very stable material. So we're still going to stick it in there, but we're going to make sure that it is secured entirely by itself. So that it doesn't leach into any of the other items. So 
if we were to store the penny with the other stuff, the chemical reaction could cause the other items to deteriorate a lot faster. Um, it could complete it, like it the writing that you have um, on newspapers and stuff. You wouldn't be able to read them anymore. It'd be kind of sad. Now that you've done your research and you've narrowed down specifically for your items from your list, don't throw your original list away. Rewrite it, make it legible on acidic free paper if possible, then write out your new inventory list of the items that did make the cut. Don't forget to title your list so people in the future know what they are looking at. Try to use a number two pencil if Also possible. keep in mind when storing your items, we don't want to use any rubber bands, paper clips, or staples so that we can minimize rust inside your time capsule. As for the rubber bands, they will harden and leave marks that can be difficult to fix in the future. If you do need a binding of some sort, you could always use plain cotton string. You also need some sort of Ziploc bags and acid-free tissue paper if possible. From reading on the internet, apparently you can get uh, acidic-free tissue paper from big name retailers. Um, Luckily, we did have some that came in our pack that we were able to use. Um, you will want to keep unlike items away from one another. Like, don't store a metal item with a plastic item in the same Ziploc. Like, you're just asking for some sort of chemical disaster. <laughs> anything kind of specific with the Ziplocs, you can go and try to find any that don't have any dye in them. If not, you can just cut the top and try to take away as much of the dyed plastic as you can. Um, we'll, he, you'll see us, we'll be putting copies that we made on the front pages of the front pages to newspapers into a polyethylene bag. We didn't have enough acidic free paper for those, so... Like I said, we're going to see how those hold up for the next 30 years. Um, and the rest of the pictures that are going to come up, you will see that we have put our items into their separate bags, and I'll show you how I did it. Um, don't forget, do not crease them, because it can car harm it over time. Instead, try the tube method. All you have to do is follow us uh, roll your paper into a tube, but make sure it is a loose roll to decrease ink transfer, as you, you'll be able to see in our finished project. Um, so you'll you can use the cotton method if you wanted to make it sort of a tighter roll with the cotton string. We didn't have any cotton strings, so they're just kind of laid in there in a roll sort of way and well you know since it's 2020 and we are going through a major pandemic we thought inserting some facial masks would be appropriate so when inserting a cloth item we will need to fold it inside the tissue paper if if we have enough um, if not we will simply insert insert the mask into a ziploc bag to make sure no contaminants or reactions happen but if it does, then we're ho hopefully the Ziploc bags will contain from it going to other areas. Um, if you do choose to insert photos, black and white prints do better over time because the color doesn't fade. Um, but either type of photo works. Just try and keep them back to back. So the pictures don't stick in on one another, like the chemicals from the front, from the actual picture, don't um, stick together. I mean, it's pretty smart there. I do believe that's pretty much all the tips and tricks we have for making your very own time capsule. Um, good luck and may time be on your side. Don't forget to check out the link I've attached for some pretty cool information with teaching with time capsules. It's got, it's got a lot of information that I, uh, I took from that to use for this. And if there's any questions, by all means, please contact the library. We're here to help you guys make your, uh, 
2020 time capsule the best it can be.